Flint, Michigan might actually have some help on the way. Uh, now, everyone should know that the situation in Flint is still a crisis because of the water that was contaminated by lead infested pipes. Um, families still cannot drink the water that is coming through the faucets uh, unfiltered. Uh, so it's still a crisis. Uh, but the Senate just recently passed the Water Resources Development Act, uh, 95 to 3. Um, and what this bill would do, will uh, it will provide $100 million to help fix Flint's drinking water system contaminated by lead leaked from aging pipes when the water supply was switched from Lake Huron to the highly polluted Flint River. It also provides $50 million for health care for children who suffered lead poisoning and $20 million to forgive Flint's old drinking water loans. The bill also provides $70 million to activate a $1 billion fund for low interest loans to finance upgrades to water infrastructure. So, I mean, seems like it's a step in the right direction, right? I mean, like that, at least they're trying to aid the, aid the community with the money that they need to try to help the problem. Yeah. Um, one thing that, I see that's missing in the article. Now, I'm not sure if it's missing in the bill is whether there'll be some funds, I guess, uh, devoted towards like fixing the pipes in like the like homes, right. like people, like the individuals' homes, because those pipes are affected too. And it's if true. the pipes in your house uh, have been affected by lead, then ain't no way you're selling that house again now. Exactly. So, and if those pipes are indeed uh, destroyed, destroyed I mean, that's going to take a lot more money to help fix it's that. I mean, that. You know how much work that would be? Because it said, I, I, I just want, I want to know what they mean by infrastructure. So we would have to kind of dig into the bill. True. I want to know what they mean by infrastructure. Does right. that include the homeowners? I, mean, I, th- I personally think it should. Yeah, because it's not their fault that the government, the, the, the Michigan government. The local officials pretty yeah. much made a choice yeah. to switch water sources. Right. And disregard the effect that it would have on pretty the much uh, well disregard human beings, disregard the needs right. of fellow human beings. So again, this bill was passed by the Senate, so now it's going to have to go to the House to see if it's going to actually be passed by both houses of Congress. Um, now the House had passed its own form of a bill to help uh, Flint, Michigan, uh, but the Senate's version is about fifty million dollars higher uh, because it. Well, it's trying to address uh, concerns throughout the nation and trying to combat lead and drinking water. Yeah, there were, uh, you know, a few cities that were going through the same thing. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And it's just Flint is the one that got the most attention, the one that popped off. So right. I, 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 I can't, I can't disagree with that. So there is some controversy with the bill, though, because there's some added language about California in it and trying to address the the droughts in California. It's trying to. Um, route water to drought stricken areas in California. Now that actually sounds like it's a good idea mm-hmm. on the surface. Um, but Barbara Boxer, the Senator from California, she thinks that it's a poison pill because she thinks in doing that, it will negatively impact the fishery industry and it will help roll back the, uh, endangered species act. So it's like, it's like you can get this passed mm-hmm. But only with these amendments in it. Right. So I'm wondering if there's like, uh, like whether it can be appropriated, whether there's like some appropriation where they can strike out yeah. certain provisions or certain amendments. You know what I'm saying? That's a good question. I don't know. And I, and I don't know enough about exactly the impact on the fishery industry, like if this will actually negatively impact it. And like, like she's saying, I don't know enough about it to, to you know, speak intelligently about it. Um, now, the other senator from California, Diane Feinstein, uh, she's in favor of the bill. And she says that she believes it will help California and it has bipartisan support, including Republicans and Democrats in the House. And that's why I'm supporting it. Now, that's pretty much a garbage explanation, because pretty much what she's saying is that, well, most Democrats and Republicans support it. So, that's so therefore, it's a good it. bill. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm I'm that's, I'm more interested not... to look into the details if she has any yeah. as far as Barbara Boxer goes, um, in regard to how it would affect the fishing industry. Yeah, yeah. that's what I want to. But I it, it is kind of it is kind of suspicious uh, that there's a provision that rolls back what in, uh, endangered, yeah, yeah, endangered endangered species. species. Yeah. 
I mean, yeah, that doesn't sound good either. So again, we're going to have to get some more information about that. Um, But again, I mean, this sounds like it's good news if it does pass the House of Representatives. uh, And, you know, hopefully it can get to President Obama to sign it. And, um, you know, some aid might be on the way for Flint, Michigan. Now, I know that won't be the end of the story because I don't think this money is just going to be usually enough, especially usually, when you're talking about the house house and, and, and the thing is even with uh because they uh they're devoting some of the money to uh i guess uh testing yes some of the infrastructure mm-hmm. so in reality they don't know exactly how much it's going to cost yeah it's yeah it's still to be determined because if it did impact the piping in many homes like i said that do you realize how much how much digging that's going to be? How well, much of a problem this would be? Well, it wouldn't be a problem at all. Yeah. If the local officials, you know, uh, you know, would have been paying attention. Wouldn't oh, be actually, you know what? They were, they, they were paying attention. They just didn't care. Um, but again, it, it, this money is coming from where, though? This, kind of, this, this money is coming from taxpayers. It is. It's coming from the budget. Right. So, so a problem that could have been rectified on the front end. I mean, it didn't even have to be didn't a problem, have, yeah. but they were trying to save some money, right? Not, and now at the it's expense gonna, of health. Now, how much? Like, no, how much are they saving now? They're not. <laughs> They're not. They're yeah. getting money from the whole of America now. <laughs>